Hello everybody, this is Kyrix welcoming you back to Let's Play Pokemon Ruby Stars Challenge. I had to backtrack to get a Pokebot block case and get a couple berries that I missed, but I have done so, and as a result, Pupitar is now ready. He's also now level 41. I did a practice run through this, it didn't go so well. I was basically a recording that I scrapped because I forgot to set the timer and a whole bunch of other stuff. Popular. Why am I? I shouldn't fast forward things. But yeah, I'm a little upset that I had to not capture Pokemon because in a previous run I ran into three. Well, not previous, but while I was leveling, I ran into a bunch of rares. I ran into two Volbeats and two uh, Surskins, which are both rare in Pokemon. But yeah, on the initial run through this that I ended up scrapping, which I think I could get away with because all that was in it was Pokemon contest. I didn't have any Poke Blocks, so I didn't have anything, you know. Oh, he better hope he doesn't get jammed. Because if he does, he's so screwed. Why did I do that? I didn't mean to do that one. Oh. Please be a tough move. That means I am gonna set them off. Crap, I didn't mean to do that twice in a row. I'm sorry, Mr. Judge Person. I botched that. I totally freaking botched that. I deserve that, because I botched. I still don't know what counter's supposed to do. In the context of this thing. I'm gonna destroy Slackoff. Sloth, rather. Oh, it protects them once. That's, that's what it is. Okay. It may not be flashy, but it gets the job done. Hope I end up in close to last. Actually, I want to be close to last in uh, round five. That's the one I can afford to skip. Pupitar doesn't need to stay that very much. He's fine just the way he is. That's a toughness move. I should have been the one that got him going the last time. See, Dick, he's perfect. I'm probably gonna have to do this damn thing again. Because I made a stupid mistake and forgot that the thing doesn't reset. Alright, good. I'm still where I wanna be. More or less. Yep, I'm exactly where I wanna be. Now I just have to hope that two of them avoid using tough moves, which isn't gonna happen. Oh, 
Alright, as long as he doesn't use a tough move, I'm good. And I think that's a tough move. Yep. God damn it. There's no appeal to be had next time. I should have been a lot higher up than I was. It's all because of that stupid double sandstorm. God, that pisses me off. All because I just kept mashing the A button. Well, we'll see how well this works for me. Hopefully the Poke Blocks will make the difference. Nope. God damn it. We'll do this again. Come on. No, I'm not entering a cool contest. I'm entering a toughness contest. It doesn't help that he's actually the wrong type to do toughness. So this might actually be the only contest I do because he's not built for it. He just isn't. Storm with a fast board just because we don't need to be wasting this whole thing on this. Yeah, I was all gung-ho to do contests until I realized, by looking it up, that he's more built for cuteness contests, and if you doubt that... Where is this summary at? I think I have to go into his actual thing. Yeah, look at that. He was fed uh, Pokeblocks that raised tough and cute, and look at how much higher cuteness is. On with the, the real meat of this thing. I've wasted I wasted ten or nine whole minutes on that. Let's get to the real the real deal here. I really, really would have loved to actually do Pokemon contests, but he doesn't have the right nature for it, and I don't have the right Poke Blocks for it. I would have to completely start over with a new Pokemon, and that's just not worth it to me. Yeah, that was bad. That forwarding, etc. Okay, now we're gonna do the actual thing that I came here to do. Well, one of them. reason I wanted these, these are one of, I'm going to say, four items that I'm going to want for Pupitar. 
they buff up certain kinds of attacks. In this case, Dark Type. What's Dark Type? Bite is Dark Type, and so is Crunch. Moves that Pupitar will be using a lot of. So, for the meantime, until I get his better ones, these are what he's going to use. I also have Soft Sand, but it'll be a while before he learns Earthquake, so... I forgot that was actually kind of required. I just wanted to clear the path in case I had to backtrack. But the Max Ether and the Black Glass is made up for it, if nothing else. got room for one more. Too much time here. Time to get on with it. Oh, while coming back, apparently this triathlete here was one that I missed, so I ended up fighting him off screen. Didn't mean to, it just kind of happened. actually tempted to just skip my grinding for a while because I'm so over leveled right now it's not even fun. Because what, all their Pokemon were in the 15 to 20 range? I'm literally twice as powerful as anything they have. I think you're the one that has it. Yep. I don't need it. I've already done my EVs. My EV training. I did that much earlier when I was fighting Bruno and such. So that's not an issue. Oh wow, I actually did need it. Well, I'll be damned. They do sometimes pop out. I think that's honestly the first time that's ever happened. That's nice. We're not fighting Gabby and Ty because we're not allowed to. Because technically, Aron is not in our party. Bring it on, Newsy. What? You look like one of the Newsies from that sprite. I need to watch that again. I don't care what anyone says. I saw that in theaters when I was a kid. I loved that movie. That was before I even liked musicals. Speaking of which, I should watch Cats again. I have that on DVD. And if there's some purists out there complaining that I'm watching it on DVD, I don't live anywhere remotely near Broadway. I don't think we have that kind of theater where I live, so... I'm not going to be able to see it live, so, yeah. That 
That's nice. But yeah, like I said, part of me wants to just skip my grinding this time, but then the other part of me really wants a Tyranitar, you know? And that part of me is probably going to win, because as cute as Larvitar is, and as bizarre as Pupitar is, and he is, he totally is. I mean, it's it's a freaking dinosaur with a freaking bug type mid middle ground, you know? He's obviously a larval form or something. A pupil form, if you want to get technical. Because Larvitar was the larval form, but he's not a bug. At no point does he ever get the bug subtype. Or even the bug main type, so it's just a weird Pokemon. He's completely out of place. Maybe if you'd given him limbs, it wouldn't have been so bad, but he doesn't have limbs. He's just... He's just Kakuna on steroids, is what he is. I mean, if the only move he ever learned was Harden, he wouldn't look even slightly out of place. But, again, I'm getting ahead of myself. But I want freaking Tyranitar, because Tyranitar's a freaking monster. Even with my bad nature type and the fact that I can't use the stuff I want to use in contests. The fact remains, he's a freaking killing machine. Just gonna give me a TM that I'll never use. Ooh, that's right. We're gonna beat. You. Or no, we're not gonna beat you up. But I am gonna steal these plants. This one of them might actually be useful. I think one of them's an Oran Berry, the one up on the left there. Berries are very important because I cannot go shopping. So these kind of matter. Incidentally, I found something out. Uh, when I was doing those berries, halfway through, I just hit fast forward and didn't hit any buttons. And it didn't change the berries at all. I had literally one berry that was better than the rest, and that's only because I hit a lot of criticals on that one, so... I'll probably go back and get one off-screen. God, this old lady's creepy. She just wants us to stay forever. I wonder if that was done intentionally, or if that's just one of those weird glitches that, that slipped the spell checker, so to speak. But if so, why is it in Emerald? Because it is. You know? I want to take a, a little side moment to mention, oh god, I need to end this. To mention absolutely nothing, because I don't have the time anymore. I have a brief thing. Um, Nintendo Capri Sun has just started his first ever run of Pokemon Sapphire. He's never played a Pokemon game before. And it's just so much fun watching how much joy he takes out of Pokemon. Anyway, we're going to end off here. I'm going to skip my grinding this time because I'm going to have plenty of videos to grind up. I'm Kyrex. This is Let's Play Pokemon Ruby Stars Challenge. And I'll see you next video. Bye-bye.